тэр ухаарал хайрсан дээр хэцүүд энэ нэгийг тойлуулах хувь тохиолоо. 2005 оны 2 сарын 23-нд 24-нд англи хэл дээр айлцсан ертөнцийн шинэ тацанд нэвтрэхүй дөрөвн цуврал хэлцэн дөрөвдгөөр хэсэг багш шавин шилцээгээр хүлэн авна. For example, if you, you love your baby, eh? and the professor has nothing against your baby, but you cannot bring him into the, the, the class of the university. He cry, he want milk, <laughs> he want sucking thumb, he make noise. And so how do you concentrate to learn? And how your uh, fellow students concentrate to learn? Do you understand me? Yes. Yeah. So in sometimes, even if we love a person and she looks good, she comes to meditation center every day and she do anything you want, but that doesn't mean anything. The outward appearance is never a quotation for heaven, you know? Heaven knows who is sincere, who is not. Nobody can cheat that. So sometimes you don't know. Even contact person doesn't know who is who. Because sometimes the person always willing to work because it's it's his personality. He likes to work, or maybe he's a workaholic, or he wants to join a group to feel important, or he has nothing to do at home, or he has problem with his wife, so he'd rather be here, good excuse, or he doesn't have to go home and listen to her brother. So it means nothing at all. So you have to check yourself whether you're sincere here. Understand me? And don't make an outward appearance of a virtuous person because that's sickening. Eh? Yeah? Everybody thinks you're good, but you're not. It's bad for you. Not just bad for other people who misunderstood you, but it's really bad for you. Because people expect you and then you thought you're okay and you stay that way all the time. You don't check yourself, you don't improve yourself. Because you think just smiling, be friendly, and be diligent at the center, then everybody thinks you're a saint. And you use that to cover up your inner weakness and to cover up your lower level. And it's really bad for you because it works. It works. So you continue smiling, uh, working, helping. You know, whenever people know you're working, you work so that people think you're working. Are you smiling and be pleasant and people think you're saying. So it works for you and you just keep using that. Do you understand me? Yes. And the more you use this outer uh, mask, the less you are uh, contact with yourself. Because it works for you. Why not? You know? And, and you also, after a while, you think you're okay also. And you don't know that you should improve more, sincerely, really, genuinely, uh, inside. Yeah? So appearance really cheat a lot of people and cheat yourself even. So do not do that, eh? Yeah? I'm not happy if you come here and portray it 10,000 times even. I don't care about these things, all right? We don't do this stuff here. I told you meditate, I never told you to prostrate to me. For example, it's not that I'm against it, but I can see who is sincere, who is not. Maybe two people do the same thing, but I see that one, okay. I might come and hug her, not because she prostrate, but whatever she does, she's sincere. So whatever you do, make sure that you face yourself, not me, not the person next to you. Face yourself, what am I doing? Huh? What am I doing? Am I correct? Am I really honest, sincere to myself? Am I really improving? You know, face yourself, not me. Eh? I don't care. Even if I scold you, I say, don't do that. But I don't care because it doesn't concern me. But your life is your life. So make a beauty out of it. Eh? Make a beauty out of it. Don't go anywhere and disturb everybody just for your own sake. You know, seeking attention here is just as bad as seeking attention outside. It's all, you know, desire for fame and profit. See, 
one person sometimes make trouble, bring the atmosphere down into a lower level, physical level, and it, it, it's all bad. Some of you are not that high, just at the border of the second level, well, it's still better than second. But watch it, okay? Watch it that you don't just stay there forever and rely on all these masks to survive in this society because I'm not in the society, you understand? I'm not even human. I'm not even born human. I was born outside of the womb. I've never been in my mother's body. I came the second day when the baby is already born. I just borrow the body to come out, to, come to, to, to do my job. I have never been in any human's womb. The reason my parents see the light, you know, the whole house was bright the second night because I only came then. I didn't come when the baby came out. I wasn't in my mother's womb. That's why I didn't see the light when the body was born because I wasn't there. I came when everything's all clean and ready and settled down already, and when the angels already make the road clear and everything, and the body is already clean, and uh, a little bit away from the mother's energy, and then I came down. It's already suffering enough, not to talk about staying in here for nine months. <laughs> So I'm not even a saint, all right? You are the saint. I'm not. I'm not human. I'm not the least of all Vietnamese. I just happened to take a Vietnamese body. So of course, I was born within the Vietnamese boundary, so I help them, eh? and I respect that country, and I do anything I can to make that country people happy, you know, have a comfortable life. But I'm not Vietnamese, I'm not human even. I just borrow this body. Many of you are so not human, and especially now you're not. But you're already in the human body, that's all, all right? Your soul is free, already gone. A remote control you from upstairs. <laughs> yeah. You can remote control a TV. <laughs> How would you not be able to do it with the sacred, holy human soul? You understand me? We can do anything. We can uh, do anything with any body we want. Suppose even I died tomorrow, I could borrow another body and come back. Yeah? Quickly. It's no big deal. This body is nothing, yeah? Anybody is nothing. We just house it for a while, so we do our purpose. So don't make a big deal out of the appearance even, and nobody cares. <laughs> do you care? Okay, good. Just be honest, sincere, genuine, be natural, okay? I love this. I always know you are there. How can you escape? The room is small anyway. Huh? Yeah, the room is small. Can I not know that you are there? You have to be patient, eh? Wait. If it's not important, you just wait. And you're here already and I'm here. I would know what you want, no? It's no need to always push me, no? Yeah, asking for the thing that, oh, please, you didn't do that, Master, you didn't do this, you know? I will do it in own time, in my own time, eh? No, push it, push it. How would you be able to to come here if I didn't do anything, right? I even clean the bathroom. I take the garbage out, everything, so that you have room. How would I not do anything for you? I do anything for you. I don't care. Whatever makes you happy, I do it. Yeah? Just don't push me, right? Because there are many people, not just you. The problem with some of you, you come here, you think only for yourself. Yeah? You don't even care the person next to you, what he wants. You don't even think of anybody, which is good. But it's selfish, you know. It depends. It depends. You come here, you concentrate on meditation, on God alone. That is good. That is good. But if you just try to take everything for yourself, the attention from the master, the place of the, the fellow practitioner, get the best and all that, then it's no good. It's a difference between self centered and selfishness. Ne? Yeah. Self centered, you centered in yourself, you meditate. That is good. And you don't care about what's happening or the gossiping or the thing that it doesn't concern you, that is correct. But if you're selfish, you want to take everything for yourself, then it's very bad for you. Whatever you come here, you will not get anything. You might lose some point. 
yeah, selfishness always make you lose points. Everything that concentrate to try to get things for yourself alone, you lose everything. Whereas if you try to serve other people with love and with unconditional devotion, you gain. Yeah, that's the irony of the universe. Because whenever you offer yourself to other people, in one person, you expand. You understand me? Your energy, your aura expand at least into that person area. But everything you think of yourself, oh, I need this, I want all this for yourself. Then it's just like this, just this. Yeah. The more, the more you serve, the more you expand. You bigger. I told you twenty years already. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good. Master, oh, you speak so nice, but you don't even understand. You don't even practice what I told you, then it's a waste of time. I don't mean you especially, we're just talking in general, okay? For the people who still have this lingering trouble of selfishness and ego, just drop it. Especially, especially when you come here and you see me already, that's the best already you can get, so just drop everything else. You come here, it's enough. Even just to look at me, enough. The people outside, the people who don't even practice meditation, if they just look into the master's eyes once, they get millions of points already. And how much you get, but you've been wasting, wasting, wasting. You understand me? You're wasting it because I give you something, you go out and waste it because it's so easy to get. And you come here and grab for more. The more you grab, the more you lose. This is a very... Uh, paradox law of the universe, but it is like that. You're very fortunate already. Even if I don't see you, I don't talk to you, you had enough already. But because the mind is troubling everybody, so I try to come out again, telling you the same stuff, hoping that now that you're already high level and the world is high, you will understand better. Do you understand better? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really love you very much. Who else should I love? I don't have anybody. Yeah? So you have all my love, see? <laughs> Suppose if I have a, somebody I love, then I might share it, but I don't have, so I just give it all to you. Huh? That's just physically speaking. But uh, uh, spiritually, you know, you are like my children. Huh? You are the only one I love. <laughs> But at least you try your best, you improve yourself, and you do whatever you think is good. You really try hard. And I know, I know the, the world is very unkind to you. Many times it gives you trouble, gives you obstacles, even your family members, even the one you think you love, the one that you love, the one that you think you would understand you and closest to you, make trouble all the time. So I understand this. And that's why <laughs> I tell you again, again and again, I'm not like angry and I just throw you out because you don't know. I understand. It's very difficult for you to survive in this world spiritually. Because everything tries to take you out of it. No? Just the moment you want to sit, even the thing yesterday come back. <laughs> Not like he bugged you yesterday and then it's done. But it comes back to you and it lasts many days, sometimes the heart aches, many weeks, sometimes many months, sometimes many years. So it's not just like somebody hurt you yesterday or last week and then, okay, I suffer one week, one day, enough. No, it's coming back to you all the time, stabbing your heart. And you try hard to concentrate here, to think of God, to think positive. It's very difficult, right? So I know that. So just try. <laughs> no, no matter. Yeah, your your effort has borne a fruit. You see, all oh, heaven knows. So all of you have already gone to the third level at least. Ne? So you're safe now. You're free. But the more you meditate, the higher you come. Even sometimes the fifth level person has to come down here if, if he's not perfected. Like sometimes you study something like medicine, eh? But you have not made the thesis, yeah? Right? And then you haven't got the, the title, right? Eh? So you have to do more. Understand me? Yeah. Or you're just in the middle of medical term, eh? Yeah? You have to you're already in there. It's already good that you already accepted in the in the med, medical school. 
Yeah, and you are already uh, very high. But you still continue, no? Until you get doctor degree. Even then, you still have to continue because you have to make apprenticeship. You have to practice, yeah? And then medicine new come out all the time. You have to study more and more, more every day. It never ends. All right? So even if you're on the fifth level already, you still have to meditate. Number one, to improve yourself. Now, because the fifth world is not just like this, eh? You have, oh, zillion things to know. And so the more you practice, the more, the more you meditate, the more knowledge you will gain. Eh? In case you need it in the future, if God chooses you to be a master, you have to know everything. Not just uh, sit and meditate. Eh? You have to know everything. You have to even fix the door. <laughs> Demolish the toilet. <laughs> Make room out of nothing. Yeah? Understand that? You see, not even master escape. Many masters have died in a very tragic situation. You know, the last one you know is Jesus. Eh? You have to learn all kinds of things. You learn how to survive, to teach people, but have to survive also. Otherwise you die in no time. The moment you offer yourself to help other people, to elevate spiritually, that moment Maya already on you. They never leave you alone. So you have to learn even the art of a spy. Zero, zero, 007. <laughs> That's nothing. You have to be zero, zero, 008. A knife. Yeah? <laughs> Double O oh, nine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to say except repeating what I have told you already with the more emphasizing force. In case you have any question, then you can ask me. If not, then you may meditate again. That's your job. Hmm? Don't tell me that you're already on the third level. Master, elevate the whole world already. What's the point of meditating? Fine, also fine. Fine. Because you're already free. It's no uh, obligation that you should meditate diligently or anything. But you do it to, to make your life better as well, you know? Clear the karma, that the fixed karma that you should pay in this lifetime. If you meditate, it's also a lesson. Yeah? And it helps the world to to be even more elevated eh? and help the universe also to be united together and, you know, balance it out. So not one planet too high and not one planet too low. And then we have war between planets, you know, interplanetary war has been there, used to happen because the planets were so different in frequencies. Spiritually speaking, the planets were different and they make war with each other. So to have peace. We need to meditate eh? to bring the uh, uh, atmosphere into a peaceful, a peaceful stand. Eh? Uh, because even if this world is peace, <laughs> all the planets are not peaceful, then they will still have war. Not the war in the planet, but interplanetary war. This world has been destroyed before. This world has reached a very high level of uh, scientific success. Eh? But then because they know too much, but their spiritual side don't develop, so they make war with other planets. Other planets make war with this. And so many things have been destroyed. We used to be more civilized. We're getting back now. Now we're getting back.